Technique is only a quarter of it. Passion and drive is like 100% of it. <laughs> I'm Christina Aguilera and this is my masterclass. Hello guys. In this video, we are going to talk about Christina Aguilera's singing masterclass. Is it worth its price? Who is it for? Would I recommend it to anyone who wants to learn how to sing or improve their singing? Let's find out. Christina's masterclass is comprised of 3 hours and 43 minutes of exclusive video lessons. You get 23 videos of different length. In each of them, Christina discusses a few different topics within a certain main theme. You also get a class workbook that you can download from the site after you purchase the course. The whole thing costs $90. Whether you think it's a lot or not, it's totally up to you. I personally got it as a gift. Now, is there a lot of vocal technique in this class? Well, to be fair, Christina brings up topics like breath support, riffing, explaining your range, vibrato, harmonizing, etc. However, the way she does that brings us to what kind of a vocalist Christina is. So if everybody went to the same vocal teacher and learned the same notes and how to sing so proper, like you're losing the truth in there because it's so important for me to live in that moment and to feel my truth and to own it. I mean, for me, singing is just so pure and it's just such an innate thing I have to do for my skin white. I'm either like, hey, or I'm like, hey. Technique versus soul. Not only does Christina have her own distinctive vocal style, she also has a pretty unique personal approach and perspective on singing. She relies a lot on emotional drive and intuition. A lot of things come natural for her. For sure. If you're gonna do an ad lib, do it right. <laughs> and this is all just feeling and what the chords are doing to my soul and my Rhythm is sort of a natural sensibility. Which may work for her, but it may not work for everyone. The instructions Christina gives are not clear and specific enough for a beginner and a little too obvious for a more advanced singer. G is the uh, is, is like more muted. La, G. Can you see how it's more like, um, uh, like, I don't know, there's a slight difference. <laughs> I don't even know if it makes sense, but to me it's... With that being said, there are still some pretty helpful tips and tricks that you could pick up. If you can almost think of that being like the most troublesome point, and if you nail that, then you're golden, it will take the pressure and the strain off of the impact you're gonna give that super high note that you're worried about. One of the points are... What's interesting is how much emphasis does Christina place on the mental aspect of singing. You know, like anything else, like an athlete, like a sport, it's so mental. It, it really is, even your capability in singing, it's all in sort of how you see things. You know, I, I knew I was certain, or I was capable of certain notes, but sometimes you're mentally so fatigued or nervous or, um, you know, stressed about hitting it that you don't even allow yourself the opportunity to relax and reach the note. But don't expect to learn how to use all these vocal techniques that I mentioned earlier after the course ends if you hadn't been able to do that before. What I mean is that if you can't sing with a bridle yet or your ear isn't trained enough to harmonize, things will most likely remain the same because you will not get a proper in-depth explanation how to exactly learn how to do it. Um, you could go about it with, you know, the technical approach and aspect to it. You get into the lingo of using, you know, a third above the note, a fifth above the note. Those are different harmonies where you can go above the note or below the note, but it's a specific kind of a note that um, blends, not in unison because that would be an octave, but sort of blends in a harmonious way <laughs> that works with the existing note. So it's two separate notes that just sound good together. You have to be able to command a presence that invites people in. But this masterclass has more to offer than just vocal lessons because being a singer is more than just singing. And that's why Christina discusses topics like warming up, working in studio, and something that she seems to be pretty passionate and knowledgeable about, taking care of her voice while not being on stage. As I mentioned, Christina understands and knows from her experience that singers are not only vocalists, they're also performers, and that's something she spent a lot of time on explaining. How to set up a proper mood, how to present yourself on stage, what to do when you just can't engage the audience you're performing for. The audience has to go on this journey or else you're just gonna project them a wall of sound 
that is just gonna be like, whoa, whoa, okay, where's the change up? Like people. A big portion of the course is dedicated to motivation, inspiring, and general self expression. How to overcome mistakes, how to control your nerves, how to stay creative and open to ideas. Christina makes several interesting points on embracing your sexuality as an artist. She explains her own view and perspective on it, how important it is to always make sure that you're comfortable with choices that you make, and how to set up boundaries. Christina puts on her image in a controlled creative work environment in front of the camera on stage but doing that doesn't make you owe anything to anyone. She shares her personal stories and experience along the way. You're gonna hear how it is to be a successful artist, busy schedule, opinions you don't want to hear, opinions you didn't ask for, people challenging and trying to sway and manipulate your own artistic vision. I'm not a real singer myself nor am I an aspiring artist but I personally loved hearing real stuff like this. It's even more interesting from a fan's perspective because you get to hear things you may not have heard Christina share before like what was her most nerve-wracking performance or did you know she had some acid reflux? Plus the whole vibe and energy she exudes is very chill, laid back which makes videos easy and pleasant to watch. Final thoughts Christina Aguilera is not a vocal coach, she's never claimed to be one. If you're not a fan of hers and you're also a beginner in singing, I'd say don't buy the course. It will simply not pay off. But if you're someone who already has some technical background on development and you also want to become an artist yourself, there is definitely something you can gain from it. And if you also happen to be a fan of Christina, this class is a real treat. Okay, I guess that will be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please excuse my underwhelming English. Till the next time, bye guys.